The Hubble Tension a puzzling disagreement in how we measure the universe's rate of expansion might finally have a solution. Scientists are exploring a fascinating new hypothesis that places our galaxy inside a vast underdense region of space called the KBC Supervoid. This colossal cosmic hole could be skewing our measurements of the universe's expansion and might hold the key to resolving this long-standing cosmic mystery. The Hubble tension is a significant puzzle in modern cosmology. It arises from conflicting measurements of the Hubble constant, which quantifies the universe's expansion rate. This constant is determined using two primary methods, each yielding different results. The first method uses the cosmic microwave background, the afterglow of the Big Bang. By analyzing this ancient light and applying the Lambda Cold Dark Matter model, scientists estimate a Hubble constant of about 67.4 kilometers per second per megaparsec. The second method focuses on standard candles such as Type I supernovae and Cepheid variable stars. These objects allow scientists to measure distances and redshifts showing how much their light stretches as galaxies move away. This approach consistently produces a higher value, approximately 73.2 kilometers per second per megaparsec. This discrepancy of about 8% might seem small but challenges the Lambda CDM model and suggests that our understanding of the universe's evolution might be incomplete. Resolving this tension is crucial for cosmology, as it could confirm or upend our current theories about dark matter, dark energy, and the universe's fundamental structure. Recent research points to a possible explanation. Our galaxy sits inside an underdense region of space called the KBC Supervoid. Observations confined to this vast region could be biased, leading to the higher local measurements of the Hubble constant. This local bubble of accelerated expansion may offer the key to resolving the Hubble tension. The KBC Supervoid, discovered in 2013, is a colossal underdense region roughly 20% less dense than the cosmic average, spanning about 1 billion light years. It is centered near the Milky Way. This positioning could explain why local measurements of the Hubble constant appear inflated. Scientists typically calculate the Hubble constant using observations that don't extend beyond 2 billion light years. This means that many of these observations are conducted within the KBC supervoid. Since the universe's expansion rate has changed over time, Measurements within this void reflect a localized accelerated expansion rather than the global average. Supervoids like the KBC affect nearby galaxies in a unique way. Because they are underdense, they exert less gravitational pull, creating a negative mass effect. This repulsive influence alters the redshifts of galaxies within the void making them appear to recede faster than they actually are. As a result, calculations of the Hubble constant based on these measurements may be skewed, leading to the discrepancy observed in the Hubble tension. In essence, the KBC supervoid could act as a cosmic magnifier, exaggerating the expansion rate for observers within it. This hypothesis highlights the need to consider the large-scale structure of the universe when interpreting local measurements. While some critics argue that a void of this size is inconsistent with the Lambda CDM model, others note that large-scale anomalies like the Atoff supervoid provide precedent for the KBC's existence and its potential influence. If the KBC supervoid is confirmed to influence the Hubble constant, it would fundamentally reshape how we interpret cosmological data. The Lambda Cold Dark Matter model assumes that the universe is homogeneous and isotropic on large scales, meaning its properties are similar no matter where you look. 
However, the existence of such a massive supervoid suggests that localized cosmic structures may play a much more significant role than previously thought, challenging this core assumption. This research also intersects with other groundbreaking ideas in cosmology. For example, modifications to dark energy, the mysterious force driving the universe's accelerated expansion, could provide complementary explanations. Additionally, the concept of extra dimensions, hidden spatial dimensions beyond the three we perceive, might add complexity to how gravity behaves across vast distances, subtly influencing cosmic expansion. These extra dimensions could also provide clues about unifying gravity with quantum mechanics, a holy grail in modern physics. Another related topic is the role of quantum fluctuations during the early universe. These fluctuations could have created uneven distributions of matter, leading to structures like supervoids. Investigating the connection between quantum processes and large-scale structures may help us understand why regions like the KBC supervoid formed in the first place. Instruments like the James Webb Space Telescope, Euclid, and the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope can create detailed maps of cosmic voids, measure redshifts with unprecedented precision, and provide insights into the universe's expansion history. Observations from these instruments will refine models of large-scale structures and help confirm whether the KBC supervoid significantly skews local Hubble constant measurements. Cosmologists, physicists, and data scientists can leverage cutting-edge AI-driven tools to analyze vast data sets, detect subtle patterns, and simulate the behavior of supervoids in greater detail. Machine learning algorithms can identify biases or correlations in observations, accelerating progress in resolving the Hubble tension. This interdisciplinary approach ensures that every angle, observational, theoretical, and computational, is addressed. Thank you for joining us on this journey through one of cosmology's greatest mysteries. The Hubble tension and the KBC supervoid remind us how much we have yet to learn about the universe and the power of science to uncover the unknown. If you enjoyed this deep dive, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating explorations of the cosmos. Stay curious, and until next time, keep looking up,